Okay, so now I can save my V5 VEX code. I'm on my Chromebook, and so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my code the way I want it. I'm just going to come up here and change the name. Now you'll see this one already has a name because I've saved it a couple of times as I tried to get this stupid video to work. But usually what you see is you see an option for downloads and for Google Drive. So the point is, is you want to put this on your Google Drive. You don't want to put it into downloads because on your school Chromebook, you log off, you log back in, all your files are gone. So I would definitely recommend opening up Google Drive. Um, I have a special folder for it right here. And notice there's, I've got a ton of different codes that I've saved into the same folder. And mine has this name. You can also come down here and change the name of the folder and hit save, or name of file and hit save. Yes, I want to share, or I want to replace the one that's already there. So then I have to get to my Google Drive. So in my Google Drive, I've now gone to this exact same location on my Google Drive where it is, and there's my file. If I do a two-finger click on top of it, I can get to the Get Link button. And I want to share this with the rest of the people on my team, so I have to go down here where it says Mead. I have to change that. Whoops. Not what I meant to click and make sure it says everybody at Mead, so it doesn't say restricted, but anybody at Mead can view, because that way they can make a copy of this. If I'm gone one day, they can do the coding. Copy that link, done. And now I can paste that link into any Google document I want and share that Google document to my team, and they should be able to write all over that or be able to download that and then be able to upload it to the uh, brain and run that code, even though I'm not here that day. So hopefully that helped.